In this Python tutorial, we will create a desktop application containing a frame object using the PY Simple GUI library. There are two frame objects in the desktop application. The selected checkbox and radio button objects are displayed in text objects. In the video I will show step by step how to do the application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. I created an empty desktop window. Now let's start adding objects one by one. First, I will add the radio button objects. I create an empty list. I can add members to the list using the append function. I will send three parameters to the radio function. The first parameter represents the name of the object. The second parameter represents the group of the object. We allow events with the third parameter. I create a frame object for radio button objects. The first parameter sent represents the name of the object. The second sent parameter is the list of objects we want to have in the frame. The third parameter represents the color of the title. I send the frame object to the layout list. There is a radio button object in the frame object. I will add two more radio button objects to the list. I create radio button objects for commerce and science. Radio button objects have been added to the desktop window. Only one radio button object can be selected at a time. Because all three radio button objects are in the faculty group. The selected objects are displayed on the console. But key definitions have not been made yet. I define keys to access objects. I define a separate key for each radio button. Now the event value appears with the name of the objects. Now I will add the checkbox objects to the window. I define a list for the checkbox. I can add members to the list using the append function. I send text, default and enable events values to the checkbox function. I will create a frame for checkbox objects. I create a variable for frame. I send the title, list and title color values to the frame function. I add the frame object to the layout list. I added the second frame object to the desktop window. I will add two more checkbox objects to the list. I create checkbox objects for sociology and economics. More than one checkbox object can be selected at the same time. Since I have not yet defined a key in the event values, there are values of 0, 1, and 2. By defining a key, we can see which checkbox object is selected. I define a separate key for each checkbox object. The keys now appear on the console screen. 
I will display the selected radio button object and check box objects in text objects. First, I define a text for the radio button object. I am sending string and key values to the text function. I define a text for the checkbox object in the same way. I send the two text objects I created to the layout list. I added the text objects to the desktop window. Now I will display the selected checkbox and radio button objects in text objects. If values art is true, I will update the text value to art. I can do this using the update function. Notice where we define the text radio key. When the arts radio button object is selected, the text object changes accordingly. I also define it for the commerce radio button object. When the commerce radio button object is selected, it is displayed in the text object. I define if in the science value. When the science radio button object is selected, it is displayed in the text object. Remember that we defined these keys for radio button objects. The selected radio button object is displayed in the text object. We will do the same operation for the checkbox object. I create a list because more than one checkbox object can be selected at the same time. I will create if queries. I will add members to the list based on the selected checkbox objects. Notice where we define the keys. I define the same if queries for other checkbox objects. I am creating a text variable. I access the members in the list with a for loop. I am editing the text value. Finally, I update the text object I created for the checkbox with the update function. There are two frame objects in the desktop application. The selected checkbox and radio button objects are displayed in text objects. In this video, we learned how to use the frame object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.